and Assalamualaikum. In March 2020, the World Health Organization declared coronavirus disease 2019 COVID-19 caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus. The COVID-19 pandemic has overly affected the psychological well-being, social, and working life of millions of people across the world. The first movement control order, or MCO, included the closure of schools, higher education institutions, and non-essential business, as well as a general prevention of mass movements and gatherings across the country. The COVID-19 pandemic has made huge global impacts, including high death toll, loss of income, and social restriction for billions of people. Our research project will be discussing mental health issues, including depression and stress, that are known to negatively impact teenagers, especially in the ages of COVID-19 pandemic. Depression is an emotional disease that is increasingly serious among teenagers today, mostly involving skilled students. So, this situation is very worrying when student depression can lead to worse incidents such as criminal behaviors, social problems, and suicide. So, stress is a feeling of emotional or physical tension. It is your body's reaction to a challenge or demand. In an instant, stress can be positive such as when it helps you avoid danger or meet the deadline. But when stress lasts for a long time, it may harm your health. Generally, types of depression range from anxious distress involving a constant restlessness, while persistent depressive disorder characterized by lack of interest in normal daily activities, and major depression are with overwhelming feelings of hopelessness, sadness, or emptiness. Among the types of stress includes acute stress with symptoms of intense fear, a consistent sense of feeling pressured associated with chronic stress, and episodic acute stress that can occur on and off. Among the major leading factors, both depression and stress include toxic environments. So this can be seen by lack of family affection and abusive home environment. Other than that, online learning due to restrictions during the pandemic has oftentimes been referred to as a cause of this mental illness. Additionally, ongoing families such as divorce or separation can cause additional and emotional harm to teenagers. So with the result of our research, we have determined and selected a few methods to overcome these mental health issues and heal the scars of our generation. So firstly, teenagers must seek out a good support system for them to rely on in times of need. So a support system can consist of trusted family members, friends, or even teachers. Next, teenagers must also be more open with talking to others like sharing their feelings or simply venting out their current worries. So this can help them relieve burdens on their minds. It is also very important for teenagers to be able to take a me time and unwind without the presence of others. So this action could benefit our well-being as we focus on ourselves more. Stress often makes us hard on ourselves and this leads to extreme pressure on our mind and body. Mental health problems can affect their quality of life, academic achievement, and physical health such as performing poorly in their academics. And mental illness often has a ripple effect on families. Mental health issues can be an extremely painful and traumatic time for all of the family and leads into having a huge impact on a family's financial and emotional components. Other than that, people with this mental health condition tend to not go out and socialize as they are scared to meet new friends or being in contact with any outsiders. So this type of community is a community that needs more attention because there is a way to help them. These are some platforms that you may reach out to when needed. So, have you heard of Befrienders? Befrienders is a non-profit organization that provides emotional support 24 hours a day to those that are lonely, in distress, or having suicidal thoughts. Furthermore, there's also an app called PlusVibes. PlusVibes that also allows users to anonymously chat with helpers through voice chat or its messaging, so that users can disclose their problems or issues they are facing. And lastly, Thoughtful Chat. Thoughtful Chat is an accessible and affordable mental wellness solution. 
It connects users to certified mental health professionals and they will check in and provide daily coaching during the monthly subscription. Although the number of COVID-19 cases during the data collection period was relatively low, there was a continuous increase in the percentage of respondents with depression, anxiety and stress symptoms, implying an increase in mental health burden. By demographics, young people, specifically students, females and people with poor financial conditions were highly exposed to mental health symptoms. So these findings focus on the necessity of monitoring mental health disorders among the public during the COVID-19 pandemic as identified in this research. To conclude, we hope that our findings could show the importance of mental health awareness and why it should be taken as a serious matter. We also wish that our presentation will help our country in moving towards a better future. To those who are still struggling, remember that you are not alone. There's always a platform for you to reach out to. With that, I thank you.